Hi guys, we're still on the system of Endeavor OS. Ran the Arcanlix Nemesis script, installed Xenmod, and installed uh, Leftolium with the Arcanlix tweak tool. This video is about Arch, Arch Linux. So there are many distros out there that are based on Arch, and I've downloaded something I have not installed yet, and that's the Arch Linux 2022-09-03. That's already there. What I've done as well is super F7 is create a, let's remove this one, create a template. So let's have a look at quickly at the template. And I did forget to change something. Let's not forget that. I need to, uh, 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 where was it again? References, no cancel. It's in settings and maybe here. It it was somewhere basic so well let's let's have a look in the meantime i'm looking for the setting i need for a tiling winner manager so assessed system okay enable this one processor 50 50 enable this for inksy acceleration the same display all up do not do vm svg that's the default the standard forget about it it's that one or that one otherwise you get a small resolution of 800 and 600 and that's not anymore for this time and age right you don't do that so the setting i'm looking for is this this should be off for a tiling window manager and then we go to clone and we type arch next next voila optical drive there he is start and now i can do ctrl f right great and as you see he knows i'm not an old machine he knows i'm a uefi i have to i see that this is number three not number four maybe it was later but today we're on number four, the Grub version. You may have noticed that there were some issues with Grub. Solved in the meantime. What I will not do is in slow Arch Linux installation and typing every command. You can find that on the archlinksd.com, the Archway install. What I will do is a fast one and see how it improved over the last common last months right since hmm, two three months ago that i've tested it so arch install so english keyboard layout forget about it i need to have a slash and then be i am a be latin one guy mirror i am a sweden guy i know I live in Belgium, but Sweden is fast for us. Locale language is ENUS, sure. Yes, drives. I always keep it simple and stupid and never broke the system, right? Disk layout, wipe all selected drives and use the best effort default partition layout. Boom. X4, yes, encryption, no system boot ctl or grub would you like to use grub as bootloader instead of system d yes right we're just gonna stick to grub yes and then swap through wow it's it's a machine it's a virtual machine right otherwise maybe yes true arch links root password and let's type in our password uh-huh now yes uh, one more time user account that's my name password that's the password yes it's weak and here it is again should be a super user that's a very important message right should i be able to update my system yeah so i want to be a super user yes confirm and exit yes profile Desktop, minimal, server, xorg, desktop. Let's take 
Well, yeah, why not cinnamon? And that's not nice to look at in the beginning. Nor is awesome BSPWM. I3 KDE. No plasma. KDE is for the damn plasma, of course, Eric. Mate, Q Tile, Sway, XFC4. Let's stick to what we know. XFC4, select the graphics driver, AMT open source, all open source, Intel open source, VMware, right, in this case, but you choose what you need. Audio, pipe wire, default, fine. Kernels Linux. There is no Linux 10 mod, so you have to install it later, but you choose. Normal Linux will do just fine. Additional packages if you want them. I don't know if um, NeoFetch is, for example, a package I think we can add that's available on the Arch Linux repos. Network configuration. The easiest way is to let things be installed, be, be configured automatically. Use Network Manager. And then UTC time zone, if you need to change to, in my case, let's see, Europe, Brussels, br, 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 Budapest, Berlin. There you are. Okay, that's true. Safe configuration, install abort. Install would be a good thing, enter. Let's see. So I don't think that there were any different choices since last video, since last time we did. Um, no. And this is the other way, right? This is the, this is the Arch install way, and the other guy, other way of doing it is the Arch Linux, you know, Wikipedia or Wiki that you follow and the steps that you need to take and all the commands you have to type. Behind the Arch install is of course exactly the same commands. Now, one thing I haven't done in this video, which is important to mention, is that there is no, I did not tell Pacman that they can download in parallel. So parallel downloads is, in my case, I set it to five. In the etc slash pacman.conf, you can set that. It's not activated by default, still not activated by default. And um, that's a pity because if you have a fast internet, it goes a lot faster. You have five parallel downloads then, or 10 or 20, up to you to change the number. Just change TTY there. So I'm sticking to grub. By default, they say don't do grub, and by default, system D install, which is black. No background. Unless you tell me otherwise, you can put it beneath the video. There's Network Manager. So, basically this is the video how to install Arch Linux with Arch install. And you choose different options different file system, different packages. I've added one more package, NeoFetch, there he is. Always interesting to show what are you on. XOR drivers. And here is XFCE. So it would have been awesome, or i3, or something else. Deeping, Mate, Cinnamon, lots of choices there. But not my beloved left WM. So I would install our, the Arch Linux V tool, and then click, 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 five seconds later. 
I have left over here. Would you like to shroot into the system? No, it's done. Okay, then sudo reboot. So what is this? This is the grub version, this is number three. So it has to update and version four has to come in. No, that's not what I meant here. So let's get rid of this thing. Bye. And then force on mount, why not? Because I want to reboot anyway, reset. This is the correct grub, Eric. Yeah, it's number four already. Archlings. Lightyam greets us. And there is your XFCE. The video is now 11 minutes. So it's that fast. And if you do parallel downloads, it'll be a few minutes less. In 10 minutes time, you have an Arch Linux system up and running, right? So that's um, that's a cool thing. Um, I'll, I'll end the video here. It's, um, let's split it and later on start theming this thing but this is still okay there is a lot of things that are present there is the audio mixer sound will work in other words and um, the trash is, is installed so many things already there okay the, the icons are the way uh, you have to choose icons you have to choose themes but basically the desktop is present and is working and that's a cool thing all right, next video, this needs to be nicer, right?